Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Children's Worship. We're so glad that you've joined us today. We are in the third week of Advent. We have one more Sunday to go before it's Christmas. I know this is a really exciting time and I appreciate you taking the time to tune in and learn more about the Christmas story. So this week we're going to light our Christ candle. It's a reminder to us of two things. God is always with us, no matter what, and he calls us to be the light of the world. This is the third Sunday, so we're going to add another Advent candle to our wreath. So we now have one, two, three Advent candles. Advent is a time of preparation and expectation leading up to, the, to Christmas and to the birth of Jesus. Each candle represents one part of the Christmas story. We use a wreath to help us remember the story of Jesus' birth because stories weren't written down yet. They were shared by word of mouth. So the Advent wreath helped people to remember the story of Jesus' birth. The first candle is the hope candle or prophet's candle. It reminds us Jesus' life brought hope to everyone from the beginning of time. Hope. The second candle is the peace and the holy family candle. reminds us that Mary and Joseph were Jesus' chosen family and that Jesus came to bring peace to the world. This week, the story picks up after Jesus is born. There were shepherds who were keeping watch over their sheep in a field late at night. An angel of the Lord came before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and the shepherds were scared. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. And suddenly there was, an, there, was an, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among men. Close your eyes and picture this. Shepherds on the hillside, excited to hear the news and ready to go and see the baby Jesus. Angels are so happy. They are singing, glory to God and peace on earth. And the baby Jesus in the manger, surrounded by his family who loves him. This whole scene evokes such a feeling of joy joy in the news of Jesus' birth, joy in the shepherds being the very first to hear about it. They were ordinary people, just like you and me. Jesus came not only to save us, but to guide us, just like the shepherds guide their sheep. The joy, or shepherd's candle, reminds us of the joy of the shepherds 
the joy the shepherds felt as they saw Jesus. This candle reminds us that Jesus came to ordinary people, just as he does today. Rejoice, you are included in God's amazing love. I wonder, what are some ways we could help each other to have the joy of Jesus? Now, I think just smiling at people or just saying hello to them and even reaching out to them are great ways to share the joy and to, you know, even if you go up to one of your family members that, that's in your house and you give them a hug for no reason, I guarantee you that'll bring joy. Um, so this week, you should have a coloring page that has the picture of the wreath on it and it has the word joy in the middle. So this will be the page that you can color um, if you haven't already done them and then you fold it up and put it, mail it to one of these people that you were given the en for the envelopes to help continue to share the good news of Jesus' birth and the Christmas story with our congregation. So now we are going to close in prayer. Um, dear Jesus, thank you for this season of Advent and for letting us experience again the story of Jesus' birth and the Christmas story from that very first Christmas long, long ago. Help us to remember to continue to share the story, to have that hope that Jesus brought to all people for all time, the peace that came with his birth and that came with him knowing that the King of Kings was here and among us and the joy that a new baby and that the new baby Jesus brought to men. And now we will close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Bye everyone. See you next time.